Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Varma and today we are learning the algorithm for deleting the node at the end of linked list. Let us suppose that we are having three nodes in the linked list. Let us suppose the address of node 1 is 101, the address of node 2 is 201 and the address of node 3 is 301. Every node of linked list contain two parts and the first part is info. Info part contain the information of node. Let's say the value of first node is 7, the second node value is 9 and the third node value is 11. The second part of node is link part. Link part contain the address of next node. So here node 1 link part contain the address of node 2 that means 201. So this link part is having the address of node 2. Similarly node 2 link part contain the address of node 3. So here the address is 301 that means link part is having the address of node 3. And node 3 link part have no address because there is no further node available that's why it is null. Link list contain a start pointer. Start pointer contain the address of first node which is 101 that means start is having the address of node 1. In system there is a link list of free spaces that is called avail list. Let us suppose there are two free nodes available which are having address let's say 401 and 501. Free nodes of linked list also have two parts. The first is the info which contain the information but right now they are blank because these are the free spaces. And second part is link part. Link part contain the address of next node. So here first free node link part has the address of next free node which is 501. So that means hypothetically it is having the address of next node and the next node link part have no further node that's why it is null. Avail list has avail pointer which contain the address of first free node and which is 401 that means avail is having the address of first free node. Then we have LOC which is the location pointer. There is one more LOCP which is the location previous pointer. This algorithm will delete the last node from link list. Here we know that in the link list node 3 is the last node. So that node we are going to delete. Line number 1 of algo says if start is equal to null. The link list in which we store the elements that has the start pointer and if that start contain null the meaning is that there is no node available into the link list. So in that case deletion is not possible. Then we are going to write underflow. Underflow means there is no node available and we cannot delete anything and algorithm will exit. But here this is not the case. We already have start and start is having the address of node 1 and further we are having is the node 2 and node 3. That means nodes are available and we can delete. That's why algorithm will go to the line number 2. So here we are doing the set location is equal to start. The value of start is 101. So here the location value will be 101. That means location is having the value of start which is having the address of node 1. So here location is pointing on node 1. Line number 3 is saying repeat step 4. So step number 4 will be repeated while link of loc. Here we can see that location is having the address of node 1 and here we are talking about the link part that is not equal to null. This is correct 
because link part contain the address of next node which is 201 and this is not null. In that case line number 4 will execute. Here we are saying set LOCP is equal to LOC means the value of location which is 101 we are putting inside LOCP or we can say that this is the location previous which is also going on the node number 1 and LOC is equal to link of loc. Here the location is having the address of node 1 and here link part is having the address of node 2 which is 201. So that 201 we are putting inside the location so that means location new value is updated and that will be 201 or we can say that now the location is modified so here location is now on the node number 2 so here the previous value of location is updated it is a loop it will go back and again check the condition link of low here we know that the location is having the address which is 201 which is the address of node 2 and here link part is not equal to null that is correct because link part has the address 301 which is of node 3 and this is not null in that case line number 4 will work. Here we are saying set LOCP is equal to loc means the value of loc is going inside the LOCP. The value of loc is 201 so that is going inside the LOCP which is 201. So that means location previous is now moving to the node number 2 and its previous value is updated. And location is equal to link of loc. Here we know that the location is having the address 201 which is of node 2 and that link part is having the address that is 301 which is of node 3. So this link of loc means 301 we are putting inside the location. So here the location value is updated which is 301 or we can say that location is now moved towards the node number 3. So node number 3 address is with the location and the previous value of location is updated. It is a loop. So again it will go back and checking the condition that link of loc. Here the location is having the address which is 301 that means location is having the address of node 3 and here link part that is not equal to null but here we check the link part is having the null so that means this condition is not true because here we have link part equal to null but the condition is saying that should be not equal to null. So here line number 4 will not work and it will be coming out of the loop. In line number 5 we are saying set link of LOCP. Here LOCP is having the address 201 that is of node 2 and node 2 link par that is equal to null. So here location link part we are setting to null and its previous value is updated. Here we can see that the last node that is out of the list that means we have successfully deleted the node from the link list. And now is the time to add this node into the available list as the free node.
in line number six set link of loc here the location pointer is having the address that is 301 which is of node 3 and that link part is equal to avail the avail is having the address which is 401 so here location link part is now having the address of avail which is 401 or we can say that location link part is now having the address of avail which is of the free node and the previous value is updated and avail is equal to loc. So here the address of loc which is 301 is now updated to the avail. So here the avail is having address which is 301 or we can say that this avail is now having the address of node 3. Here the previous value of avail is updated. Also when the node number 3 is the part of avail list so its value will lost because that will be considered as free node. So node number 3 is deleted from the linked list and it is added to the avail list. If we traverse the linked list, so from the start, we are going to the node 1 and here we have the value which is 7. Then we are going to the node 2 and the value is 9 and then we are going to the null. And here on the null link list is complete. That means node number 3 is no more the part of link list. And if we are going on the avail list, so from the avail list, we are going to the node which is having the address 301. This is first free node. Then afterward, we are going to the node which is having address 401. This is the second free node. And afterward, we are going on the node 3 which is having the address 501. This is the third free node. And after all, we are having is the null. So this is the end of away list. This is how we have deleted the node from the end of linked list.